Welcome everybody to the Raw Podcast Show. This is John Smith. We're at the Hillsdale County Fair. I got John Rutan here with me today. And then all of a sudden we got a guest speaker here for running for Department Board of Education, Tammy. And Tammy, I'll be honest with you, I don't know how to say your last name. So I want you to go ahead and just say it and give us a little bio real quick on you because I know we don't got much time. Hi everybody, I'm Tammy Carlone. I'm running for State of Michigan Board of Education. I am a CPA, a process improvement expert, and I have been an education advocate for 18 years. Okay, Tammy, we were just discussing that state level issues are always like a cloud for me, and I'm, I'm actually politic heavy, and I don't know a whole lot about state level issues. I just met with Mike Shirky, my, my local senator, uh, and uh, Tim Wahlberg, which I've met a couple of times. And Eric Lloyd Hoyser, I believe, too. Is their state rep, yep. yep. And I be honest with you, I don't know anything, because I think Department of Education is something that is shielded or clouded from what the average citizen. The average citizen don't know what the importance is, particularly on a state level because uh, I if I'm not mistaken we get a lot of education platform stuff from the national government now mm -hmm. uh, as opposed to before it used to be a state level issue now it's turned into this whole national level thing kind of like healthcare has and now we got these like big bills with healthcare and nobody knows what it is on a national level but it somehow gets to the state level yeah so why don't we why don't we just get into Tammy's platform a little bit Tammy can you tell us a little bit about your platform uh, as far as uh, UC uh, the position in, in state government for the education. Absolutely. Um, you bring up great points. You know, the, the feds aren't supposed to be involved in education, but uh, the Constitution is being <laughs> ignored quite a bit in, yes. many, in many areas, like education. And uh, in regards to the state, uh, the state depart uh, the State Board of Education is basically the elected body that's over the uh, Michigan Department of Education. The State Board will hire a state superintendent to run the state, uh, the Michigan Department of Education. That being said, we are a local control state, and I am a fan of local control and parental rights. Amen. The Michigan Constitution does give the State Board of Education the in, to be in charge of education in the state of Michigan. So it's a very broad um, responsibility. Um, I think that the State Board of Education needs to be more relevant. I think that there's a lot of things we could be doing that we aren't doing. The status of education in Michigan is, is quite bad. I don't know if anybody out there is uh, watching the results, <laughs> but... Uh, so ever since we've had Common Core, we've been on the decline. I have been fighting Common Core for about six and a half years. I have a bill. How long has that been around? My birthday, June 2nd of, of, of 2010, so eight years. Okay. Mm. And once I found out about it, I said, that can't be true. I, <laughs> I yeah, it was kind of hard to believe, wasn't uh, it? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I dug into it, and uh, sure enough, it was very true, and I've been studying it and talking about it and, and uh, other things in regard to education I've been studying and talking about for, uh, for many years now, and uh, it's time to get a seat at the table. My bill in Lansing to get us out of Common Core has been sitting there for two years, so I would like to get on the board, um, get back to proven effective educational methods, not gimmicks like Common Core, unproven things like Common Core, and um, I'd really like to stop the teach to the test mentality. Oh, uh, thank God, yes. Yeah, a lot of our kids do not enjoy learning and going to school anymore, and that is dangerous. Well, we don't even ho we don't hold kids responsible for what they learn. I mean, look at the English skills uh, just in the in the kids around town. Um, most people cannot even carry on a. Uh, a good conversation well, using proper English. John, I always wondered what is the purpose of going to school after fifth grade. I'm, I, I, I challenge. You know, <laughs> I, I'm just, I'm, I'm looking at this, and, and all. I think a lot of this goes down to philosophy. Uh, I don't understand. I really, honestly, don't understand the role of government that that uh, how they interact with education. I don't really. I'm really trying to grasp my well, head around this and why they even are involved with the, your with your education. See, I already know that. I, I mean, is the government's job to groom people for jobs? Is that is what's the point? Well, of, Benjamin of the Franklin education? said, "You can't have a free society without an educated society." Okay. So, but the problem is, we're educating more and more away from the Constitution instead of to the form of government that we have. Yeah, but whose responsibility is to educate your child? Well, it is the parent's responsibility Thank to you. educate Thank the you. child. Yes. Thank you. The schools are just a tool, and it's even in Michigan law, it says that. And even if it wasn't, we have the God-given duty of uh, raising and educating our children. Yes. The schools are just a tool. And, uh, parents, I don't think people understand that, Tammy. I don't think so either. And you bring up some great points. I, I would really like to do some educating um, around Michigan about local control and parental rights and why it's so important and why the feds are stepping in to fill the Hey, John, hole. What, a, what a fresh breath of air. I you know. know. Like, seriously. We've, we've, been talking, we've been talking this stuff for a while, and we get, we get told that we should be wearing tinfoil hats. And this is among other 
conservatives. <laughs> I, I did not expect, Tammy, I, I, you know, we just met a minute ago. Yes. I did not expect this, yeah, honestly. We were completely unaware of what was uh, of who you were and what was going on. You're, you're this is a breath of fresh air. That's not good. If you don't know who I am, I've been running for four months all over the state, so I'm glad to be here. Yeah, oh, cool. Great. And we're, we're glad to have you here. Where, uh, where did you just come from? I just came from my home in Novi. I'm uh, in Oakland County, and uh, my school district is Northville, which is Wayne County. Right. My two kids are students at the University of Michigan, which is in Washtenaw County. Mm, very good. Okay. So you're all over the place. Yeah, where you, we, you're yep. off, where are you off the next, or where are you going after here? I will be going up to uh, the Muskegon area. Okay. And uh, I've, I've been all over the state for four months. Everybody, everybody that's been watching my Facebook page sees uh, pictures of me every day all over the state. It's been a lot of fun. And I think right after this, you're going to do a WCSR interview with oh, Bob Flynn, I think. Yeah. yeah, right here at the fair. Yeah. That's right. That's so. right. I want to tell uh, uh, Hillsdale what my message is. I already know what you're going to. You're, you're on a state, so that's it's much it a takes, bigger region. Stress. My it's goodness. huge. It's, it's huge. A, it's a lot of money to the, just the burn rate. Of <laughs> well, a, and a even just the time, that. the investment of time yeah, just that's the, the drive involved time. is. It's, it's got to be uh, yeah. So have you had any sleep in the last 10 days? <laughs> no. How do, I, how do I look? Nobody can see my face, right? <laughs> well, <laughs> that's what toothpicks and coffee are about. <laughs> well, Tammy, Tammy, after the, because uh, the election's coming up here pretty soon, right? Right. And November 6th. November 6th. Okay. Um, even after this election, win, lose, or draw, whatever, uh, can we can we see you again? Because because I mean, can we, we'll come to you uh, and have you on the show. Yeah, where we, you got more we, time to to sit and yeah, talk. Yeah, we'd love and, to talk to you more and and, uh, uh, and get uh, some of this message out to the people that need to hear it. Because it sounds like you're a supporter of the Constitution. Hundred percent. And whether I uh, win or lose, I have been an education advocate every day for 18 years, and I am definitely going to stay involved. Great. That's Great. awesome. I appreciate you coming in. I know you got to get going. And uh, Yes, thank you very much for coming on our podcast. We appreciate it. Thanks for and, having and me, make guys. Sure, uh, we'll, uh, we'll definitely um, add a little bit extra here to, to put your information out there. I'll get your information, and we'll add it to the to the site. And, and we don't have to include this necessarily in the podcast part here. Uh, yeah, part we'll part. go ahead and put it on this website. But, but we'll, so. get it, we'll put all your information out there, and we'll try to help push what we can. TammyCarlone.com is where everything is. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Tammy. Thank you.